So um, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. We're so grateful that you're spending your Tuesday evening with us and we're very excited to talk about all things BU Music Ed and get to know you this evening. Um, we're planning on about an hour tonight, give or take. Um, we just had our welcome and introductions. I'm then gonna do a brief overview of our programs, um, our graduate programs here on campus. Then I'll turn and online, and then I'll turn it over to Laura and Sarah, who will chat about application, admissions, and finances. And then we're going to break out into some breakout sessions, which will be an opportunity for you to ask us questions that are program specific or specific related to um, application and admissions. So that's our plan for the evening. So. We have five main graduate programs in music education that we'll be chatting about tonight. Um, the first is our Doctor of Musical Arts. This is a professional doctorate that's grounded in research and informed by practice. And we're very proud of the relationship that we draw between research and practice here at BU. This is a dissertation focused doctorate. So students in this program complete coursework that leads into a research study and eventually a dissertation. Um, our, our DMA students are active music educators, they are community musicians, they are college faculty and staff, among others. And this is a program that can be completed completely online with options to come here to Boston in the summer or on campus. Um, next on to our master's degrees. So we have um, an MME uh, initial licensure track. So this program is for individuals who are interested in obtaining both a master's degree in music education, as well as professional teaching licensure in the state of Massachusetts. So all required coursework needed to apply for teaching licensure is included in this program of study. And this is an online only program. Or I'm sorry, this is an on campus only program, on campus only. Then our master of music professional track, master of music education professional track is for individuals who either may already have teaching licensure or who may be actively pursuing careers that don't require teaching licensure. So you might be a community musician teaching outside the United States, um, et cetera. This program has really great flexibility in terms of coursework that's really grounded in your professional practice. So trying to help you find things that you can bring to the classroom. That one's offered both online and on campus. Then we have our Certificate of Advanced Graduate Study in Music Education. This is an option for individuals who are really interested in pursuing additional graduate level coursework, but who may not be interested in the research um, and dissertation portion of the DMA. Again, really cool, great flexibility. Um, and this is an online only program. And then finally, we have our Graduate Certificate in Pre-K-12 Music Teaching. So this is for individuals who are seeking professional teaching licensure in the state of Massachusetts, but who are not interested in pursuing the master's degree. Um, all required coursework, again, needed to apply for the teaching licensure is included in this program of study. And this is an on-campus only program. Um, I know that that probably felt lightning fast, and it was, but we're going to have a chance to move more in depth about those programs in our breakout sessions later tonight. So I just wanted to do a quick overview for everybody. So I'm going to pass it over now to Laura and Sarah um, to speak about admissions, application and financing. Nope, that didn't work. It doesn't like my, there we go. <laughs> awesome, you can actually go on to the next slide. We're gonna, uh, briefly review the application requirements for each of the programs that Kelly just mentioned. And then if you have any additional questions about um, the process, we'd be happy to answer those in the, one of the breakout sessions this evening. Um, so we will begin with the master's and the certificate programs. Um, of course, it will require a graduate application and the $95 application fee. And um, then alongside that application, you will be asked to submit two recommendations. Um, these recommendations would come from um, maybe your immediate supervisor, a music teacher, mentor, or any of your undergraduate faculty. Um, these recommendations should address your leadership abilities in music education and potential for success in, the, in graduate studies. Um, they should be submitted electronically through the application process rather than 
put in the mail or anything like that, especially these days, since we're not always in the office, um, we're, we're working from home. Um, so, and then also you'll want to upload your um, transcripts. Uh, the online and on-campus programs differ slightly in this process. So for the online programs, as you will see here on the slide, uh, the application does require your official um, transcript to be sent to the website, to the email address you see there, CFA apply at bu.edu by the application deadline. Uh, the on-campus programs, um, you may ha have an opportunity, you will have an opportunity to upload your unofficial transcript in the application. Uh, we will not actually ask for your um, official transcripts until the summer prior to your enrollment. So should you choose to enroll, um, we will go ahead and request that tra official transcript in uh, that summer. And then also your personal statement. Um, this statement should be around one to two pages and it should describe your purpose in pursuing graduate work, your career objectives, and particular interest in studying here at BU. And then you'll also have an opportunity to upload your resume. Um, and then for the example of scholarly writing, um, we ask for writing such as a research paper used um, in your undergraduate studies. So if you have that, um, you're also welcome to uh, refer and chat with some of um, either Sarah or I or our faculty if you have any questions about a writing piece and whether or not that would suffice for this requirement. Um, and then for um, our applicants whose native language is not English, um, we would ask for a score report from the TOEFL, the IELTS, or the Duolingo exam to show your English proficiency. Um, so the uh, re certain requirements are designated on our website, the score requirements for each of those exams. But again, we're happy to, uh, to address that and, and break it down for you in the, um, in the breakouts this evening. And then a little bit about the deadlines um, before we, sorry. <laughs> and then before uh, we hop to VMA, uh, for, about the deadlines for these applications. Um, online is, is pretty straightforward. We have one deadline, so you get one shot there. Uh, we only admit for fall entry. And so your application deadline is coming up here shortly on December 1st. And then if you're applying for the online program, you have actually six opportunities. There are six admission cycles per year. So you may choose between um, fall one, fall two, spring one, spring two, or summer one, summer two. And um, uh, Sarah will actually go through a little bit more details about those specific application deadlines. Now you may go to the DMA and I will pass it on to my colleague, Sarah. Hello, everybody. So um, a lot of the admission requirements might sound similar to what Laura just covered for the master's, but I will go through um, what we expect for DMA application. The admission process happens once per year, both for the on-campus and online program. Um, the on-campus program has a December 1st application deadline. The online program has a January 8th application deadline. If you are hoping to be considered for both modalities, um, you would apply by the earlier deadline of December 1st, and we would then review you for both on campus and online. Um, you would need to let us know that that's what, you, what your intention was. So definitely reach out to me if you are hoping to be reviewed for both on campus and online programs. So that application, it is an online application. There is a $95 application fee. We ask for two letters of recommendation um, from immediate supervisors, music teachers, mentors, someone that can uh, talk to your potential for success in a graduate program. Uh, we ask, so there's a, two letters of recommendation are required. There's actually space for three. Uh, if you wanted to add a third, you don't have to. We do ask for transcripts from all colleges and universities to be uploaded to your online application. So that's something that you would upload yourself. 
Again, Laura mentioned this, but if you are accepted and choose to enroll, we would then require the officials the summer prior to your enrollment. We ask for a CV, including all of your music, music education background. Uh, we ask for a personal statement uh, describing your purpose in pursuing graduate work, your career objectives, um, your pr particular interest in Boston University. We ask for a statement of research. This statement, I think people think is uh, one of the harder, harder parts of it. The faculty asked for it to be just 1,000 to 1,500 words. So they want it to be concise, but they want it also to be very thorough. Um, so they want a statement about your research interests, what led you to your research ambitions, why is there a need for further research in that area, how do you anticipate your research fitting in with the field of music education or beyond, concisely state your past work in that intended field, um, and, and this statement, again, should just be fairly short, 1,000 to 1,500 words, and should include references to scholarly literature. We also ask for a sample um, of writing, scholarly writing. Most applicants, I would say, do use a paper that they wrote as part of their master's degree. If you don't have something from your master's degree, that is okay. We do have a prompt you could choose uh, an article that has influenced your thinking about music teaching and learning. And you could write um, a reflection on that, including citations to scholarly literature instead of a writing sample, um, something that you had previously written. And again, if English is not your native language, we do require either a TOEFL, IELTS, or Duolingo um, score and the reporting information is on our website. I will continue on here for the finance side of things for the online program. Uh, the master's program and doctoral program um, tuition for the online programs is, is done by credit. Right now, tuition is $889 per credit and each course is typically four credits per seven week intensive class. And we can get into more details about that in the breakout session. Um, the DMA after coursework moves into not zero credits, but there's a continuing studies kind of flat rate fee um, for 2020, 2021, right now it's $1,777 assessed every fall and spring until the degree is completed. Online programs are eligible for Stafford loans and Graduate Plus loans. The online program, unfortunately, is not um, eligible for merit aid or scholarship. The DMA is made up of 48 credits of coursework plus the continuing studies. And our average student completes that program in roughly seven years. The width on that um, timeline, the total cost estimate is roughly $58,000. If you were to complete in, in less time, it would cost less. Um, so that estimate is based on the university's time limit to complete the program. Um, and then the master's degree is a 32 credit program, as is the CAGS. And uh, that program is roughly $28,000 total. So I'm happy to answer questions about that again in the breakout room. And I am going to pass it back to Laura for on-campus financial information. All right, so um, for on-campus, it works slightly differently. We do uh, charge an annual tuition rate um, and this will pay for your enrollment if you are registered between seven and 11 and a half credit hours. And that amount is 24,600. Um, so your semester rate is half of that. Um, we are very privileged to offer a 50% tuition discount to our graduate students um, in the College of Fine Arts. So this rate is after that 50% tuition discount. Um, 
All graduate applicants are considered for merit-based scholarship. And this scholarship is determined um, by the admissions committee. And it's based on the holistic review of your application on the overall merit. Um, so we are highly looking at the faculty's review on your writing, your um, previous academic history, and all of your um, teaching experience and leadership potential. Um, also, all applicants will be sent an application to apply for a graduate assistantship in January. And um, our graduate assistants run kind of like a part-time job. So they offer an annual stipend that is divided into weekly um, paychecks. It's intended to help you with your living expenses here in Boston. Um, and the, we have several different positions throughout the School of Music. Uh, they, could they could be a teaching assistant or it could be a research assistant. Uh, we have department assistant positions and then so many more. Um, so you will have an opportunity in the application to designate your interest uh, and what kind of position you would like. And we work with faculty supervisors to make a placement um, for as many as we possibly can. It is competitive. Not everybody, unfortunately, is awarded an assistantship, but um, we try to award as, as many as possible. And I'll stop there. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Laura and Sarah for that. Um, I'm actually going to end the show. You'll still be able to see, I think, as I screen share, yes. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're gonna head into breakout rooms. Um, hopefully the part that is most exciting for all of you as you're here. Um, we're gonna have three, we'll, we'll do this for 15 minute sessions. We will have three breakout rooms one that Laura and Sarah will lead um, on admissions applications and finances, and that will be room one. One with Karen Hendricks and Gareth Smith that will uh, be DMA program specific, where they'll answer questions about our DMA program. And one with Ruth Dubrow and myself, where we will answer questions specifically about the master's and certificate programs. So as I said, we'll do two sessions, each about 15 minutes in length. Um, in so if you're looking to continue the conversation that we had today, we'd love for you to reach out to us. Um, the admissions information is there on the left on campus programs with the deadline, online programs with the deadline, as well as our website online. We as faculty are also really happy to continue this conversation over email. Um, that link there, the bu.edu slash CFA academics faculty staff will lead you to our profiles where you can find our email addresses as well as the email addresses of our fabulous colleagues who are off teaching tonight who would also be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, but really, we just wanna take a moment um, to say thank you for joining us tonight. We know that this is a lightning fast introduction to graduate music education here at BU and we thank you for joining us um, and we hope in the future to see you over Zoom or here on campus in Boston. Um, I'm going to hang out in the room for a few minutes if anybody has any additional questions that they weren't able to get answered in their breakout sessions. Um, otherwise, I think that's it unless anyone else, Dr. Hendricks, Laura, Sarah, Ruth, unless anyone else has anything they'd like to add. Keep in touch. Um, feel free to reach out anytime.